Okay, I'm going to like rip this off. <gasps> okay. See you guys. Today we're going to make blooming onion. Let's go! Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is peel it just like this. Remember to keep your root intact. Cause this is like the glue to everything. So you're going to put it your bottom side up and give like one space here, then cut it just like this. Now give a bit space here too. Yeah, that will be enough. The other one. The other one and just repeat and just repeat this step until you meet the first thing that you make until you meet the first cut so this is my first time doing it so I'm not really sure how this one will turn out So let's see. Ta-da! Now I'm done. Now I'm going to cut one more. It's gonna be hard. This onion is making me cry, guys. <laughs> so now we're going to make the onion batter. So put your fork in. Here's my trusty fork. Now my tapioca. My cornstarch, my chicken stock powder, now my salt, this is also optional, you can use any salt, and sugar, this is coconut sugar, it's also optional, any sugar will do, then this is baking powder. So now you're going to mix it first before you put the water. Now you're going to eyeball the water. Remember, don't put too much water. It needs to be a little bit thick, but not too thick like a dough. This might just like looking like a dough now, but I'm going to not make that happen, of course. And that should be enough for now first. It smells great. The texture needs to reach this consistency and make sure there's no clumps and lumps. So now you have your blooming onion all-purpose floor and your batter that you just made before. Now, you're going to give a little bit of all-purpose floor so the petals won't stick together.
Make sure it covers all the inside so it doesn't stick together when frying. Now just like put it aside first. I want to do the other one now. This one looks like it's more blue. Just put it aside. Now you're going to dip it in your beautiful batter. So now I'm going to take the onion by the middle and dip it in to my batter. Now I'm going to like wiggle the excess. It's so hard to get it. So now I'm going to just like put it in. Just like put it in. Chili. You're going to like wiggle, wiggle it. Okay. No, my second time frying. Okay, guys. So this is quite like. <laughs> dip, 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 dip. This is taking quite a long time to fry, guys, because we're frying a whole onion. So be patient. Oh yeah, don't flip it too often. So now take it, take it. Now you're going to like flip it so the oil will like go down. Then voila, you're done. That's how simple it is, guys but also scary. <laughs> so now I'm done frying it. Now I'm just like going to swirl it. And this part is optional. And the sauce is also optional. Like at the middle so it looks like a beautiful flower. <laughs> I'm done! Okay guys, don't get too excited first because don't forget there's still the bottom. Be careful, you might eat it. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. I think it's like this. The onion and the crunchiness is like the best. And this is like so beautiful. This is like so beautiful, guys. And also very delicious. take the mayonnaise on the middle because it's still like you know it goes to the holes <laughs> mm. 
other stop eating this, guys. Okay, I'm going to like rip this off. <gasps> okay. See guys? Oh my god. This is so crunchy. I like it. I like to eat it when, I like to peel it one by one. Make sure to try this recipe and like and subscribe. Bye! I'm gonna go ahead and eat. And now, your turn to make it yourself, guys.